my name is Neil Safir. I am a, an associate professor in the Department of History and the director of the John Carter Brown Library. Uh, I'm a historian by training, and uh, my original dissertation work focused on the history of scientific expeditions between Europe and Latin America. In particular, I focused on uh, a French and Spanish expedition that went to the Andes and the Amazon River region in the 18th century. And the uh, particular expedition that I studied was the first scientific expedition down the Amazon River by a European scientist. Uh, so it was uh, really focusing on the way in which uh, science discovered the Amazon River for the first time in the middle of the 18th century. So it's indigenous peoples, the flora and fauna of the region, the geography, and the ways that it connected both to other parts of South America, like the Andes, but also uh, other parts of the world. Not only am I a faculty member, I'm also the director of the John Carter Brown Library, uh, which is an institution that has existed first as a private library and, and now as an independent research library on the campus of, of Brown for about 170 years. Uh, it started as a collection of Americana, which is books uh, and maps and prints related to the history of all of the Americas. Uh, but has grown over time to be particularly strong in particular areas. So we have the largest collection of 16th century Mexican imprints of any institution in the world, including Mexico. The same is true for uh, 16th century Peruvian imprints. Um, and not surprisingly, we also have one of the largest collections of Braziliana uh, in, anywhere in, in the globe, competing with the Biblioteca Mindlin in Sao Paulo, uh, the uh, Biblioteca Nacional uh, de Lisboa in Portugal, and other collections such as the Oliveira Lima Library in Washington, D.C. Um, the value of this kind of uh, resource at Brown is immeasurable. And uh, traditionally, the library was uh, understood to be meant only for researchers at the highest level. Um, and I'm hoping that over time we get more and more students, graduate students, but also undergraduate students, into the library to see the kinds of amazing materials that we have here. Um, we are, we are uh, loosening the restrictions so that people, undergraduates, do not need to have a letter um, from an advisor or a faculty member, they just need to have a need to use this collection. So um, if uh, somebody wants to come in and look at the resources for the history of Brazil and any aspect of Brazil, essentially from the time of its discovery in 1500 all the way to its independence in 1822, this is uh, considered to be uh, a, a legitimate subject for them to come in, and we welcome, we welcome those uh, participants. The same is true for faculty members, um, and I especially uh, would like to encourage those faculty members who are not historians or uh, literary scholars, but archaeologists, anthropologists, geologists, because this collection has a, a priceless uh, collection of materials that can help to shed light on the history of those disciplines as well. Brazil at Brown is a uh, long overdue recognition that uh, there are few places that have the kind of resources to study Brazil, both from a historical point of view and a contemporary point of view, uh, as, as does Brown. And I think that the Brazil Initiative here is a way of connecting all of the different resources and creating, again, a laboratory for the examination of a country that has so many similarities uh, to the U.S., uh, but also a lot of differences and things that we can learn from as much as we can share our knowledge 
about uh, the history of the Americas more broadly here. I think that um, there's a wonderful spirit among the people who are interested in Brazil at Brown. And uh, we at the John Carter Brown Library are thrilled to make our resources available to any faculty member, to any student, or really any community member who's interested in the